All right, hey guys, Hershey Lee here, and I'm here with Jonah Jameson. And uh, today we're here to talk about why we're excited for DC streaming service. Let's dive in. As you guys may have known, DC Universe is uh, making their own streaming service. And right now it is available for pre-orders at $7.99 a month or $75 for a full year. And when you pay for the full year, you get three additional months. So that's uh, pretty neat. Some of the shows that have already been ordered are Titans, which we all know because fuck Batman, Swamp Thing, Doom Patrol and Stargirl. Those are the live action shows that they have. And the uh, uh, animated shows they have is season three of Young Justice, which is titled Young Justice Outsiders, and the Harley Quinn animated series. Mm, not sure I feel too much about that. But it's labeled here as an adult comedy, so I'm hoping for uh, something good to come out of this. Yeah, I guess it's really going to depend how many different uh, co-stars or other villains they let into the Harley Quinn world because um, I guess her interaction with a lot of characters can be very funny and uh, uh, hopefully we get to see Poison Ivy ex Harley Quinn, which I know is a thing right now. Yeah, did you did you hear that uh, Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy are actually married now? Really? Like... In the comics, as of right now, they're currently married. Yeah, yeah. In, in the fucking comics, I just I read an article earlier today at work. I was just as shocked as you are. They are married. Wow, that's actually so neat. I, I love that. Uh, I actually I should probably go read that. But I'm more excited about this Young Justice Outsider season three because, man, it has been a long time coming. It has been so long. I am so ready for this. Doom Patrol. That should be interesting. Do you think they're going to use the Beast Boy from uh, Titans? I'm I'm honestly not too sure about what they're going to do with the Doom Patrol because they casted um, Cyborg like in Doom Patrol first before they mentioned anybody else. I just thought that was a weird turn for them. I know that Cyborg is supposedly officially in the Justice League now. But I, I don't know. I honestly don't know how they're going to turn this Doom Patrol thing around. Because at, like like we see uh, with the Titans thing, you know, the, they got fucking Robin over here uh, killing people and shit and saying fuck Batman. And I know that. <laughs> I, I, no, I'm, I'm serious, dog. Like, like, this is something that that you really wouldn't expect out of Dick Grayson. This is more like a jason todd type of thing or hell even a damien damien wayne i can see damien wayne doing this shit but but dick grayson nah okay okay but ha, do we know that he killed them yeah you know maybe he just fucked them up pretty bad when, when the fuck does dick grayson use guns he used guns and he just <laughs> shot he shot his <laughs> criminals they were they they asked a simple question where's batman <laughs> nigga what <laughs> Batman. <laughs> yeah, fuck him. No, <laughs> but I think I, this dark and gritty Titans is, I think it's going to be exactly what we need because I'm tired of the shit show that is the CW Arrowverse, mostly just the Flash. Everybody else is doing pretty good. But, um, and I just think that we just, it, it, it's going to be nice. Despite this kind of shitty trailer, I'm still excited for it. And I'm excited for the comics that's going to be on the streaming service. It's also going to be movies, TV shows, comics. And I just think it's going to be a nice escape for people who enjoy the superhero genre. Oh, without a doubt. And let's let's back it up a bit and let's mention a few things. A few of the film and television series that's actually going to be on this streaming service. You're going to have uh, four of the Christopher Reeves uh, Superman films. Batman Begins, The Dark Knight Trilogy, yada, yada, yada. The animated series of Batman, Ooh. Static Shock, Ooh. Young Justice, Teen Titans, a live action series of Lois and Clark and Wonder Woman, the old versions which will be remastered in high definition, and the animated films are going to be Justice League, The Flashpoint Paradox, Green Lantern First Flight, and Wonder Woman. Yeah, so this, this uh, actually has a whole lot to offer. Because if people didn't know this, they are always talking about how Marvel's winning in the live action movies. But the DC has been so dominant in the animated part for a very long time from their movies uh, to having even a new movie series with their own continuity, beginning with Justice League War, then the Throne of Atlantis, Justice League Dark, the Teen Titans movies, and it's just, they all come together and even before then, what the Justice League War of Two Worlds, I believe is, uh, not the title, but... 
Uh, let's see. Just uh, Justice League Doom. That one was really good. Yeah, that was that was really good. You actually like I know a lot of people really spoke about how Batman could take out anybody, but when you actually watch this movie, you literally see the plan he has for taking out the entire fucking Justice League. He could take out everybody. Yes, he had a contingency plan for everybody on the Justice League that was 100% going to work. And this is why I love Batman because he just he doesn't have any powers. He's just a rich kid. And he's just taking, number one, he's running the, a multi-billion dollar business that is Wayne Industries or Wayne Enterprises. And then he comes out in the night and he's just fucking Batman on top of it. Like, he can do no wrong. He's just always winning despite being at a disadvantage. Exactly. How are these superpowered freaks going to let a regular ass freak and cosplay just show up and run their shit? Like, yeah, man, that man's that, a whole ass furry. And he just right. ready to be with the shits. <laughs> This nigga will bang. This he up on all types of toxins and shit. This man whooped the Joker. He a normal nigga too, but he crazy. Uh, <laughs> oh, and we're gonna let, let's get off topic just for a real quick second. I want to hear your opinion on this. Why do you think Batman never killed the Joker? Honestly, I never ever agreed with that. And you know, he has this saying that if you kill a killer, then <laughs> there isn't one less killer in the world. And I'm like, yeah, sure, if you want to be technical, that makes sense. But one of these guys was going to kill 500 people, and the other guy was just going to kill this one guy. So, mm, it's kind of not the same fucking thing, Batman. So, that's another reason why I've always had a problem with it, because there are just certain things that you just have to settle. And the Joker is definitely number one on that list. Like, just, just kill him. That's why I really enjoy Ben Affleck's portrayal of Batman, because he's just... Do you think a guy who's a master of all types of combat and weaponry isn't just going to fucking kill some people sometimes when he's out saving the day? Like, I, I just think it's pretty normal for, for there to be a few casualties. Like, if everybody has machine guns, pistols, shotguns, or rocket launchers, and I'm just Batman, you think I'm going to get out of this situation without there being a few bodies? Um, uh, no. The answer is fucking no. <laughs> anyway, so that's, that's, I mean, that's just a personal opinion. So we're, we're all the way off topic now. So uh, just to sum it up, DC streaming service, pretty excited for it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to spend $75 up front for it for a whole year, but me and the rest of the Ink Tank will definitely have it. Can't wait for it to drop. And uh, any shows you're looking forward to? I actually, uh, this is kind of a spoiler for those who haven't seen uh, Teen Titans go to the polls. Uh, the end credit scene of that movie showed the original Teen Titans saying that they think they found a way back. Mm. A way back. A way back. So like like I Teen Titans ended in like two thousand what six or some shit? I believe so, on, yeah. On on that last episode, on that last bullshit episode, you know what episode of I'm talking the about. The one with Beast Boy and the fake terror? Yes! I'm not that same girl, Beast Boy. <laughs> <laughs> but if they found a way back I swear if, if they just like do something with that if they do anything with that I don't care if they just like briefly mentioned it I will be happy I will be satisfied I am honestly hoping that uh, Teen Titans comes back okay alright so he's just really hoping that Teen Titans come back I guess that's understandable I'm really kind of content with just Teen Titans go because you know we have Young Justice so I wouldn't want this Teen Titans to come back. And then it takes the shine away from Young Justice. Honestly. So I'd rather it just stay dead. I mean, it's not, I'm not going to act like I didn't enjoy it. It was a really, really nice show. Right, right. And don't, don't, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not saying that I want Teen Titans to take the shine away from Young Justice. Because in all, in all respects, Young Justice is a fucking amazing show. Uh, it has an actual storyline, fucking really great character development and everything. But that's just some of the things that, you know, I want a, a closure to my childhood. Like, if Teen Titans would have left off on that la on the Titans Together episode when they finally defeated the Brain and all those supervillains, I would have been happy. That would have been a solid way to end the series. But they had to make that one last fucking episode yeah you're right it is kind of some bullshit <laughs> yeah 
Because that would have been a great ending episode. Like, all the Titans together. You see all of the Titans. But I, I just I just want closure, man. That's that's all I really want out of that show. Okay, I think you deserve your closure, man. All right, we're going to wrap this up. Um, let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you excited about this DC streaming service? Would you want Teen Titans to come back on it? What what shows are, do you think are going to perform well? Or which shows do you think are going to fucking tank <coughs> Titans? Uh, <laughs> but uh, it's been real. Uh, peace. Peace.